On to Article 4. To see if the town will raise inappropriate transfer from fee cash, transfer from funds available, or otherwise provide $242,986 to be placed in the capital stabilization account or to take any action thereto. Article 4 is recommended by the Select Board 341 against, Finance Committee 40, and the Capital Planning Committee 30. The motion reads, move that the town transfer from three free cash $242,986 to be placed in the capital stabilization account. Do I have a motion? Second. Are there any questions relating to Article 4? I'll ask Mr. Devine to explain it real quick. Thanks, Mr. Moderator. A few years ago, the town of Hadley passed the meals tax. Uh, since that time, we've been putting the, mo the money from the meals tax in the capital stabilization account, uh, which we'll be spending in motion one of article number five, our next article. Yeah, I'll do that next. Any questions, concerns? Hearing none, all in favor of article four, please raise your green card. Opposed? Article 4 passes unanimously. On to Article 5. To see if the town will vote to transfer from capital stabilization account authorized the treasurer to borrow or otherwise provide $1,050,520 for the following capital projects. And they're, they're all listed there for you. They are school bus for the school department, $140,000, and you will see the accompanying funding source. Uh, F550, two of them for the DPW, International 7600 for the DPW, that's a dump truck. Backhoe for the DPW, pickup truck for the DPW slash sewer. Uh, clarifier rehabilitation for the sewer department, light truck for the water department, telephone system, rifles, ballistics, helmets and gear, radar units, those are all for the police department, air packs for the fire department, split air conditioner for the library, and a server room for the fire department. And, a, and you see the according funding sources. There has, for the library request, And what is that? So the library changed uh, the air conditioner for the snow guard. Okay. And it's $2,000 less. Okay, there is a change in this article. For the library, um, they are changing out the air conditioner and they're putting the snow guard on the roof. And the snow guard on the roof is for 5500 So that would reduce $2,000. Off of the ending price. And to meet the appropriation by borrowing 524000 transferring 213620 from the capital stabilization account, we're going to take 2000 off of that number, correct, David? Okay, so that'll now be 211620 uh, 55000 from sewer reserves, 207000 from sewer impact fees and transfer $50,000 from water reserve. Select board recommends this three, four, zero against one abstention. Finance committee recommends it four, zero. Capital planning recommends it three, zero. What are the new numbers? Because <laughs> There's different funding sources for this article. We have five individual motions. So I will read them uh, individually, one at a time, and we'll deal with them in accordingly. Motion number one, move that the to town transfer $211,620 from capital stabilization, transfer $55,000 from sewer reserves, $207,000 from the sewer impact fees, 
and transfer 50,000 from water reserves for the following capital projects. And you will see down there on the bottom, the air conditioner came out and the roof snow guard went on. Do I have a motion? Second. Any questions? Mr. Devine will be happy to speak to it. Edwin Matuska, 116 Stockbridge Street. I've been trying for a couple of days to make these numbers all come out the same, but they're not. Because if, if you add up the column of the cost, you end up with $1,015,000. And then you're asking for $1,050,000. And then if you add up all the stuff on the bottom, they don't all add up. So w am I adding it wrong? Yes. Where? <laughs> <laughs> what, am I, what am I not doing right? I don't know, Edwin. What, what do you got for numbers? Um, well, we're on motion number one, right? So you're on article number five, motion number one. We get the Ford F. We got 85,000, 85,000, 55,000, 207, uh, 50,000, 10,000, 8,000, 11, 120, 1,500, 5,500, and 5,500 again. We've got multiple different financing uh, sources, as Brian had said. Some of it's going to be coming from capital stabilization. Uh, of the capital stabilization fund, if you add those articles down on the right hand side, there should be 211,000. Uh, Six hundred and twenty dollars for that. Of the uh, sewer reserves, you see the fifty-five thousand dollars. That's for the pickup truck exclusively, and the two hundred seven would be taken out of the sewer impact fee, and the fifty thousand dollars would be transferred from the water reserves to fund uh, the DPW truck that's being funded there. That's in uh, motion number one. Did those numbers not add up as you added that column in motion number one? Well, no, I was adding up the totals. Okay. And I couldn't get the totals to coincide. Now, does anybody else have a problem with those? Has anybody done the numbers for us? Yeah, you're asking for $1,050,000 at the top and the bottom, it adds up to $1,015,000. That's, yeah, why wouldn't those numbers? It's an editorial mistake. It's uh, one million fifteen is the correct number, not one million fifty. Uh, well, then so we have to revise what was asked, just asked for, because you asked for one million fifty thousand. The, 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 mo the motion right now is for the cash items only, so not the borrowing items. So we've, we're dealing with just the ones that either are funded by capital stabilization, sewer impact fees, sewer reserves or water reserves. Those, that's the first motion out of five. We'll deal with all the borrowing articles individually because they have to be dealt with uh, in a particular manner. Next order of business is Mr. Matusko. I owe you an apology. Well, thank you. <laughs> Also, while everybody's adding up these numbers, the coffee is ready in the back if anybody's interested. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Jim. Turn it on. Jim Maximoski, um, Walter Water Drive. Mr. Matusko is right. The numbers on the bottom for your below the total comes up to $1,047,620. The numbers don't add up. Right. Thank you. You're the new <laughs> Can I see that calculator? I believe the, I believe in motion number one, the numbers are correct. And that's what we're discussing right now. But I'll add them up real quick. Okay. For motion number one, the numbers are correct. 211,620 would be coming from capital stabilization. 55,000 would be transferred from sewer reserves, 
$207,000 would come from the sewer impact fee fund and $50,000 would come from the water reserves for the DPW water truck. At this time, those numbers are correct and they correspond to the line items in that motion. Are there any other questions about those line items? Sir. Bruce Rondo, number three, Holly Road. Um, seeing everybody's crunching numbers and everything else, right? You know, you're buying two F550s. Um, in 15, 20 years, when it comes time to retire these trucks, right, you're going to be looking at replacing two at the same time again. Right? Doesn't it make more sense just to buy one this year and buy one next year? Um, act that, that would be in normal, but I believe if the Capital Planning Committee was here, and I happened to sit on that committee for quite a long time, I believe the reason why there's two trucks on this year is because they are in catch-up mode from their current schedule. All these, every piece of equipment at the DBW is on a capital schedule that has its useful life, and I believe the reason why there's two here is because they're catching up. Is that correct, Mike? Okay. One of them is 21 years old. One of the vehicles that's being replaced is 21 years old. The second vehicle is 19 years old. And as Brian had made mention, we are catching up. Andy, do you have a question? Yeah, Andy Morris, Friedman, 45 Roosevelt Street. So we're going to be spending money from capital stabilization, sewer reserves, impact fees, and water reserves. Correct. Um, could you tell us the amount of money in those accounts? David, do you have those balances? No, I'd just like to know what the accounts are at before we decide to spend money out of them. In capital stabilization, you just put in 240 some odd uh, thousand dollars, so we won't be spending that down to zero. It'll be a balance of about 30,000 left in that. In the sewer impact fee account, the last time I checked, there was $235,000. So the $207,000 will leave about $25,000 left in an easy figuring. Uh, for the water reserves, we have $768,307. And for sewer reserves, we have $708,048. Okay, thank you. Are there any other questions with motion number one? Yes, I would. Motion one reads, and it's been moved and seconded, move the town to transfer $211,620 from capital stabilization account, transfer $55,000 from sewer reserves, transfer $207,000 from the sewer impact fee fund, and transfer $50,000 from water reserves for the following capital projects. Any questions? So which ones are we voting for this time? We're only voting for five now, right? It's not the problem. There's five different motions. We're voting on this motion right now. Right. But, but the motion contains $211,620 from capital, $55,000 from sewer reserves, two hundred and seven dollars from sewer impact fees, and $50,000 from water reserves. So there's four different funding sources in motion one. With no impact on taxes. Jim? I actually do have a quick announcement while the uh, economics is being done too. Okay. On Saturday, October 24th from 10 to 2 at Goodwin Memorial Library, there's going to be a Hoot and Zanies, uh, New Salem's famous family Hoot and Annie band playing old swing time music and songs, cider and donuts, pumpkins and face painting, balloon twisting and water balloon babies. Come join us, rain or shine, at the library. 
I'm sorry, it's going to be again between 10 and 2. The Hadley Mothers Club, I still get to do these. The Hadley Mothers Club Holiday Fair is November 21st, uh, 2015, between 9 a.m. and 3 o'clock at Hopkins Academy Cafeteria on Route 9. Uh, for any questions, please contact Donna Berg. Come shop for the holidays, visit Santa, lunch menus, silent auction, hourly door prizes, bake table, bring non-perishable food items for the Hadley Food Pantry, and receive a free raffle ticket. How'd I do, Mrs. Devine? <laughs> All right, thank you. And uh, just my last announcement is uh, on uh, this Saturday, the 24th, uh, we're going to be uh, sealing up the time capsule. And that's going to be done between 10 o'clock and uh, starting at 10 o'clock. There's going to be a little ceremony and all the things that are going to be put in the time capsule will be on display and then we'll be sealing it up to be opened 50 years from now. So I probably won't be here, but I hope everybody enjoys it 50 years from now. Brian, I think there's another announcement here. It, it, if I can be so bold. I Mr. Neihardt. Yes, I just want to add, with regard to the time capsule, again, uh, we're going to put it and seal it up under the bell. It's going to be locked in there for 50 years. Most of us won't be around in 50 years, but it will be opened up 50 years from now. Uh, last minute items. If there's anybody that wants to put some stuff in there at the last minute, Bring it there on Saturday morning. Again, we're going to um, seal the time capsule up probably around uh, one, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and then put it underneath the bell and seal it, uh, concrete it in. So if you do have something that's really kind of unique, bring it by. It would be great to put it in there, and hopefully that uh, grandchild of yours will see it in 50 years. Mr. Parker. Kenneth Parker, 118 Mount Warner. Mr. Moderator, I move the previous question. Thank you. We, we added it up. We just added it up and came to 211.620. Jim, you got that? Okay, we're good now. All right, so to reiterate, 211,620 is coming from capital stabilization, 55,000 from sewer reserves, 207,000 from sewer impact fees, and 50,000 is transferring from water reserves. Any other questions, concerns? Hearing none, all in favor of voting for motion number one, signify with your green card. Opposed? Motion one passes unanimously. Sorry about that. Motion number two reads, move that the town appropriate $140,000 for the purchase of, for the purpose of purchasing a school bus for the school department, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, and that to meet the appropriation, the treasurer with the approval of the select board is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to chapter 44, section 7-9 of the general laws or pursuant to any or other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the town therefore, provided, however, that the vote taken here under shall be expressly contingent upon approval by the voters to exclude the amounts to pay for the bonds or notes authorized for this purpose from the provisions of Proposition 2 and a half, so called. Motion has been moved and seconded. Is there any questions? Just for quick, just for quick clarification, if we borrow one hundred and fifty thousand dollars as a debt exclusion on the average single-family dwelling, um, would see an increase of nine dollars and thirty-five cents a year. An impact on taxes would be three cents. For anybody that is wondering what, how that impacts would happen. 
This, this is a two thirds, right? This is a borrowing article, so it's two thirds. If there isn't any questions, all in favor of borrowing, motion number two, bring, please raise your green card. Opposed. Motion number two passes unanimously. Thank you. Moving on, number three. Move that the town appropriate $200,000 for the purchase purpose of purchasing an international 7600 truck for the DPW, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, and that to meet the appropriation, the treasurer with the approval of the select board is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to chapter 44, section 7, 9 of the general laws, or pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the town therefore. Provided, however, that the vote taken here under shall be expressly contingent upon approval of the voters to exclude the amounts to pay for the bonds and notes authorized for this purpose from the provisions of Proposition 2 and a half, so-called. Do I have a motion? Second? Motion has been moved and seconded. Is there any questions? about motion number three. Edwin Matusko, 116 Stockbridge. This and the other items, are they one year borrowing or is there a term to these? These are both gonna be de debt exclusions. So they'll, have, they'll be on for five years and then they'll come off. After five years, it comes off the tax roll. Thank you. And I'm gonna steal Mr. Devine's thunder here uh, for the dump truck. Uh, the increase for an average single family home would be $12.47 or an additional four cents on the tax rate for that five year period. Are there any other questions? All in favor, please signify with your green card. Opposed? Motion three passes unanimously. Moving on to number four. Move that the town appropriate 155,000 for the purpose of purchasing a backhoe for the DPW, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, and that to meet the appropriation, the treasurer with the approval of the select board is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to chapter 44, section 79 of the general laws, or pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the town therefore, provided, however, that the vote taken here under shall be explicitly contingent upon approval by the voters to exclude the amounts to pay for the bonds or notes, authorized for this purpose from the provisions of Prop 2 and a half, so called. Do I have a motion? Second. Motion has been moved and seconded. This impact on taxes for the average single family home would be $9.35 or three cents on the tax rate for this dump truck. Is there any questions? I mean back, oh, excuse me. Thank you. Hearing none, all in favor of motion number four, please signify with your green card. All opposed. Motion number four passes unanimously. On to number five. Now, on my motion, article five reads 25,900. I believe yours is different, correct? All right, so motion five reads, move that the town appropriate $25,900 for the purpose of remodeling a server room at the public safety complex for the fire department including the payment of all costs, incidental and related thereto, and that to meet the appropriation, the treasurer with the approval of the select board is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to chapter 44, section 73A of the general laws, or pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the town therefore. Do I have a motion? Second. Motion has been moved and seconded. Is there any questions? So this last one is not contingent upon a proposition two and a half override. Is that correct? That's, that's correct. And is this, is this also gonna be a 
five year borrowing? Or? Um, if you hold on one second here, I'll read under my talking points to answer your question. Um, the, fish, the fifth motion borrows 25,900 for the server room. This debt would be handled within the levy limit and is not contingent on a debt exclusion. That answers your first question. There is 20,000 of debt service within the levy coming off between fiscal 2016 and 2017, and this expenditure can fit in that gap. So basically we would borrow within the levy and we have debt coming off and this debt would replace it so there would be no tax impact for this motion. Question? What's a server room? Server room? It's a, it's a room that has all their computer information in it. I don't see Chief Spank Nibble here. It's currently an exercise room. <laughs> Chief Mason, uh, but basically there's currently an exercise room there. They're looking to upgrade and create a server room where all the information would be kept for the computers. Correct, Sergeant? <laughs> Chief. <laughs> that's, that's about it, actually, yeah. That's, uh, uh, we're required by as far as the police department side goes, we're required by uh, federal and state laws um, as it relates to our sieges terminal to store our information in a secure location that, that is uh, weather protected, uh, air conditioning, things like that. The fire chief um, took this uh, capital project on himself because he's also going to be utilizing the, the server room for his half of uh, computer storage and the room that it's going into, uh, according to uh, Mike, uh, requires fire prevention updating or fire protection updating so all of the sprinklers and all of that that's where the majority of that cost is coming from to keep that room safe thank you chief Tim you gonna say something I was gonna add um, what has happened is where they had it it didn't work so it was transferred upstairs with other work that was involved. The room's getting too hot, and it's, it's multiple uses and really should be secured. So the idea is to section it off, get proper cooling in the room to cool the computers, the, the servers and everything down, and do it the right way. If, all, if, if this stuff gets too hot, it's gonna go down and these guys are gonna have some major, major issues. So the thought is to, do it the right way, get some walls up, and get some heat in there, oh, cooling in there. Shell Horowitz, 16 Barstow Lane. I, I trust that there is some offsite backup to all this as well? Yes, there is. Okay, good. Any other questions on motion number five? Seeing none, all in favor, please signify with your green card. All opposed. Motion number five passes unanimously. Article six, to see if the town will vote to authorize the treasurer to borrow $377,628 for capital expenses associated with the capital projects for the town departments within the water enterprise fund. This article is recommended 3-0 by the Capital Planning Committee, 4-0 by the Finance Committee, and 3-0 and one extension by the Select Board. The motion reads, move that the to town appropriate $377,628 to take pay for costs of engineering, permitting, construction, and all of the costs associated with the replacement of the water lines on Route 9 by the Water Division, including without limitation of all costs thereof as defined in Section 1 of Chapter 29C of the General Laws, as most recently amended by State, I'm assuming, in 1998C78, that to meet this appropriation, the Treasurer, with the approval of the Select Board, is authorized to borrow $377,628 and to issue bonds or notes therefore under chapter 40 chapter 44 section 85 and or chapter 29 C of the general laws as most recently amended by ST 
1998C78 or pursuant to any other enabling authority that such bonds or notes shall be general obligations of the town unless the treasurer with the approval of the select board determines that they should be issued as limited obligations and may be secured by local s system revenues as defined in section one of chapter 29C as most recently amended by ST 1998C78 that the water commissioners is authorized to expend all funds available for the project and to take any action any action necessary to carry out the project. Do I have a motion? Second. Selectwoman Molly Keegan will speak to this article. As most of you are aware, the um, Mass DOT is going to be reconstructing a portion of Route 9 um, from Wally Street to about 400 feet past the intersection of Route 47. Um, the town is using this opportunity to replace the aging water line, um, which is beneath the road at the same time. The article borrows the cost of the water line replacement and the debt service is going to be paid from water rates. Um, we expect to save between fifty and hundred thousand dollars by coordinating the project with the mass dot. Um, there is no impact on taxes for the borrowing. Thank you. Are there any other questions for Article Six? DPW Chief Mike Klamaski. Yes, Mike Klamoski, 71 River Drive, Acting DPW Director. I'd just like to say a few words about this article. There's an old water line on Route 9, and it runs all the way to East Street. We're trying to improve it from Wally Street to 400 feet past the town hall. It's an old cast iron water main. It's over 100 years old. And this is the great opportunity to do this. The second section that we're concerned with is from 400 feet past that inner past the intersection to East Street, which also has an old six inch cast iron water main, which is the same age. And we had an awful lot of water breaks over the years and they get to be very costly. So I hope the town of Hadley supports this article. Thank you. Any other questions related to this article? Hearing none, all in favor, please signify with your green card. Any opposed? Article 6 passes unanimously. Article 7, to see if the town will vote to amend the vote taken on May 7, 2015 at the annual town meeting on Article 8 concerning a new sewer line placement on Lorena Lane by deleting the sum of 275000 to be transferred from sewer reserves and substituting the sum of 248690 or to take any action thereto. This article is recommended by the Select Board 301 abstention and the Finance Committee 40. The motion reads that the town move that the town amend the vote taken on May 7, 2015 annual town meeting on Article 8 concerning the sewer line replacement on Lorena Lane by deleting the sum of 275000 and substituting the sum of 248690 Do I have a motion moved and seconded? Uh, Ms. Selectwoman Keegan. So for those of you who are here, um, at the last town meeting, the voters authorized 275000 to be taken from sewer reserves um, for an emergency sewer line replacement at Lorana Lane. Um, what you're about to hear is a beautiful thing. The project came in under budget, and the article is to return the unused and uncommitted funds back to the sewer reserves. The amount returned, $26,310. There's no impact on taxes or sewer rates. Thank you. Any further questions? Hearing none, all who support Article 7, please signify with your green card. Anyone opposed to Article 7? Article 7 passes unanimously. Article 8, to 
see if the town will vote to authorize the school department to expend $95,993 from the insurance proceeds to repair damage and associated costs at the Hopkins Academy Library or to take any action thereto. This article is recommended four to zero by the select board and four to zero by the finance committee. The motion reads, move that the town authorize the school department to expend $95,993 from the insurance proceeds to repair damage and associated costs of the Hopkins Academy Library. Do I have a motion? Article's been moved, motion's been moved and seconded. Uh, select woman Chungalo. Hopkins Academy experienced a steam pipe burst in February and an insurance claim was filed uh, and paid. According to Mass General Law, town meeting must authorize any insurance proceeds in excess of $20,000. This article gives the school committee permission to expend the insurance money for the, re for the repair of the school library. There is no impact on taxes for this article. Thank you. Are there any questions, concerns? Hearing none, all who support Article 8, please signify with your green card. Anyone opposed to Article 8? Article 8 passes unanimously.